A friend of mine asked me a question, and I thought it would benefit everybody to see it. And the question is, in some URLs I see, without an extension, I was trying to do that renaming the page without the HTML or .php extension, but I can't because I create a broken link. For example, I want to create, so he wants to create a link that doesn't have the extension on it. So to see this, you can go to your website, and let's say you go to one of your files. See, I'm at sourcefiles.php. Now what if I try and remove that .php extension? Let's see how my server treats that. It says this page does not exist. But if I put the .php extension there, it works. So what he wants to know how to do is how to remove that .php extension and still have that link to the source files page work. And the easiest way to achieve that is .htaccess. So open up the htaccess file that's in your root directory on your server. You can just take it from your server and open it in some kind of text editor. And if you don't have an HT access file yet, this video right here on my channel, you can go down to establish your HT access file. Or if it's not right here on my channel, you can just search it on my channel right here. Or you can search it in YouTube and it should come up. This video shows you how to actually establish your HT access file for your server if you don't have one on there yet. But if you already have one in your root directory of your server in your public HTML directory, if you already have one, you want to download it and adjust it. You don't want to overwrite it with a, a new clean one. So all you have to do is open up your HT access file and throw this directive in. You see this is just a comment. And the comment is, make pages render without their extension. And you can see the rule right there. So when you set multi views, what happens is your server will look for the closest match for that page. So if you have index, you can basically just go to example.com forward slash index without the extension and the index page will load up. Same for your contact page and everything like that. You don't have to put the .php or the .html when you're linking. So let's press control S and now let's re FTP reload this to the web server. Now if you go to your site and you go to one of your pages you should be able to take that extension right off of there now without getting a broken page. See? So you can refresh you can go to these files all day long without their extension all you have to do is link to the word and you don't have to put the .php or the .html you can just link to the name of the file and you would want to make sure that's uniform all throughout your menu systems. So once you start using this, you don't want to give people links to the .php anymore, just to the, the name of the file. That way your indexing is more uniform for your search engine optimization and all those factors. But it will have no adverse effects to your search engine optimization or anything, just as long as you serve it that way from the beginning. Okay, so I hope that helps.